This video has been a long time in the making. I'm gonna show you my ultralight travel setup that's under seven pounds that lets you travel for up to a week, and also show you how you can make a few adjustments here and have an ultralight travel bag to travel indefinitely. The bag I decided to go with for this is the Moment Travel Wear Bag. It's a 21 liter bag, but as you can see, there is plenty of room to spare. They actually make a 17 liter bag as well. That would be even more appropriate for a setup like this, but I just wanted to work with the backpacks that I had available to me already. Before we get into the bag, I wanna show you what I would actually be wearing for this trip. So starting off here, I have my Nike Kill Shots. These things have seen better days, but they're super versatile shoes where you know, you're not able to dress them up with a tux or anything, but you kind of dress them up or down. You know, if you're on a normal vacation sort of trip, these are going to be very versatile. I've been really happy with these. It's my second pair actually, and I'm definitely due for a third. But I've been working more on getting into more technical travel fabrics. And um, one of the first pieces I ever got were the Outlier Slim Dungarees. They tout these as the only travel pant you'll ever need and these are absolutely living up to the name. I've had them for, I think like two years now, maybe even a little bit longer at this point, but they're pants that you're able to wear over and over again. They are stain resistant, they're water resistant, they're quick drying, they're lightweight, they're warm, but also cool when you need them to be. I've been so incredibly happy with these. I've even taken them out hiking and backpacking before. So these will be the only pants I bring on this trip. I know people think I'm a little bit crazy, single pair of pants, but um, I don't know about you but even in normal life I don't wash you know my denim and stuff after every single time I'm usually wearing it for quite a few times before it hits the washing machine it's a lot better for your clothes and it's a lot better and less wasteful for the environment but these are specifically designed to be able to do that to prevent odors and stains and everything so you know a week-long travel these would be perfectly fine you know if you're setting up an indefinite travel setup maybe pick up a second pair but these will be the only pants for the trip with the exception of some sleep shorts that we'll get into later. To pair with these pants, I have an Outlier Merino t-shirt. Been getting super into Merino fabrics lately too. They are great, you know, they prevent odors. You can wear them multiple times. They are still warm and cool depending on your environment. So they really are tailored for a pretty broad range of travel. I've been really happy with the Outlier ones, you know, nice, thick, good quality. I know there's been some quality concerns with wool t-shirts and underwear and things with some other brands, but the Outlier ones seem to be the best of the best and um, in my experience that's definitely true and looking around you know in the one bag communities around the internet they seem to agree so this would be my travel setup paired with a pair of merino socks and merino underwear we're going all merino for this because you're able to re-wear as much as possible so that is the setup there for what i would be wearing uh, getting into the bag here though i'm just going to unload everything out on the table be easier to explain so what we're looking at here is the core of everything I would need on a seven day trip. Uh, starting from over here, this is a new pickup of mine I am so excited about. I don't know if anyone has heard me on the channel over the past few months talking about wanting slightly smaller capacity and lighter weight alternative to my Hydro Flask. And I was browsing around and saw that they just released the new Trail Lightweight series. It's about 10 ounces, way lighter than the old Hydro Flask series and still has the good insulating properties. Um, love the look of it too. I could do without this little red strip, but um, I do really like this color. Moving into clothes here. So outside of the things that I'm going to be wearing, essentially I'm going to be bringing three shirts, two pairs of socks, two pairs of underwear, and one pair of sleep shorts. And again, I wanna stress, this is just kind of a core template for, um, you know, if you wanted to travel as light as absolutely possible, but this is something, you know, I would add to in, uh, depending on the situation, so preface with that. Uh, so the shirts, I have one just, you know, simple Banana Republic 
button up shirt, you know, if you want to uh, go to a little bit of a nicer dinner. And then uh, from there, I have one more of the Merino outlier tees. The Merino t-shirts, you can easily get three or four wears out of, but um, just to have a little bit of variety and I wanted to have another shirt to sleep in and um, exercise in if the situation arose. And this is just a cheap cotton t-shirt from Target, I believe. And then from there, I have um, just some gym shorts to use for sleeping. You know, if you are so inclined, you could also use these for exercise as well. And, um, you know, another alternative to the shorts, you know, depending on the climate or depending on your sleeping preferences, you could swap these out for some lighter weight active wear pants, you know, and that way, if you wanted to wash your other pants, you have a pants alternative to put on while you are laundering. I've been on the hunt and doing a ton of research on Merino underwear. I had finally settled on the Smartwool 150 boxer briefs. Um, these have been really good. From what I hear out there, they're gonna be some of the best options if you want durability. You know, I was um, really hoping and <laughs> expecting to get the Icebreaker Anatomicas, but a bunch of people had um, issues with the durability with those, and that seemed to be a pretty reoccurring theme with some of the really, really lightweight Merino um, underwear. So the Smartwool 150 has been really happy with them so far, and they definitely seem to be the overall crowd favorite out there for, um, you know, best travel underwear. And then from there, I just have some darn tough quarter length hiker socks. I use these for hiking, I use these for travel. You know, three pair, you would easily be able to get three or four wears out of these and so you could really stretch this to two weeks and like I said you know maybe add in a second pair of pants and a couple extra merino t-shirts you know and you could travel indefinitely with a setup like this so two pairs of socks two pairs of underwear all merino you know three shirts one pair of sleep pants and beside the clothes that I'll be wearing that's really all I would need for a trip like this you're not going to be smelling you know the fabrics are designed to prevent that so that's all the clothes. I have this in um, just the larger size packed packing cube. I've been racking my brain for a long time for an all solids toiletry kit so I don't have to do the clear bags and deal with all the TSA concerns if you're a US traveler. I know it's gonna be a little bit different depending on where you are. This is the Moment Travel Wear. It's their smaller like mini tech bag, but I ended up using it for toiletries and I think it works really, really well. Um, so showing you what I've got in here for toothbrush, everyone thought I was completely insane brushing my teeth with the, the unscented Dr. Bronner's. Uh, so I was looking in some other options that might be a bit more appealing for me and all of you. Um, and I found toothpaste tabs. You know, you bite these down, kind of crunch them up and it turns into toothpaste in your mouth. The toothpaste tabs I came out came in a lot larger of a quantity of this, but this was just some random tube packaging that would have otherwise been thrown in the trash. I uh, repurposed to hold, you know, you can, I think it's probably like 14 or 15 of them in here. Then I have my folding Muji toothbrush here love this thing just the folding nature of it makes it so much easier to travel with um, so that is my tooth setup you know no liquids also have a beard comb um, you know you can use this as a hair comb too and maybe if you don't have a beard you can swap this out for some shaving gear or something but I'd really just need that comb and I'm good for you know a couple of weeks and uh, might want to bring a trimmer if it is that indefinite travel like we talked about and then I just have a little travel deodorant um, I've had no luck with the natural deodorants and like the crystal deodorants and all of the like regular deodorant alternatives I've never really had good luck with, so I still just have my little um, travel size of my degree deodorant. Um, pretty cheap, it works better than most everything else for me though. So let me know if you have any ideas, if someone else has struggled with all of those natural deodorants and found one that finally worked, please let me know. For uh, face wash, beard wash, and um, shampoo, and body wash, I have this really neat little setup here. I'll, uh, I'll show what's inside first and then talk about this bag. So, I finally broke down and got some of the Beard Brand utility bars. 
been really happy with them. Uh, this one is actually a half size. I cut it down lengthways so it would fit in the pack a little bit better. You know, and this will last a month at least. Um, so definitely more than enough for any you know regular amount of trip. So this is just yeah a little half size of the Beard Brand utility bars. But the uh, the even more exciting part of this setup, uh, a lot of people you know if you have the the dry soap or a soap bar, you end up putting it in a Ziploc bag or something like that, and it gets all scummy and gross. Um, I found this is essentially just a little mini dry sack. Um, it was from Matador, I think the brand was. I actually got this at REI. Um, I'll put links in the description for all of this stuff, but it's a uh, dry sack bag, so it's completely waterproof, so it's not going to leak into any of your stuff. And um, the cool part about the technology, it's a some sort of Cordura fabric, and it apparently dries out from the inside out without getting anything else wet. So it's not going to stay as like gross and wet and slimy in there all the time. And um, you don't have to worry about it leaking onto your stuff. And it just kind of wraps and folds. If anyone does any like outdoor backpacking and has dry sacks, it's just like a little tiny baby version of that. Really inexpensive too. And um, and yeah, so it kind of keeps your, your stuff nice and clean and not you know slimy with soap scum or anything like that. So that is that. Uh, next up, I have my electronics. As you can see, this stuff is all out loose. I, um, I have one little mesh pouch in this backpack that fits everything perfectly. So I just have this here and tuck everything in this one little pouch. Nice and easy to access if you're on the plane or out and about. Um, yeah, works perfectly for me, but I have my phone iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, it has been replacing my big cameras when I'm out and about more and more. Cameras are amazing. Uh, battery life's amazing on this thing too. And then I have my AirPods. And uh, next up from there, I have this little stand for your phone. Um, I really like to use the tray tables and stand up my phone when I'm watching TV shows or something on the plane. So this is just a little stand that folds down into a credit card and lets you do that. From there, I just have my battery bank. If you do want to go super light, uh, Nightcore makes a carbon fiber 10,000 milliamp battery bank that's going to shave a few more ounces from this one. So, you know, I'm not getting as absolutely ultra light as possible here, I suppose. But, um, you know, no sense in spending the extra money. This one has been working perfectly fine for me. From there, I just have a little power brick, a cable to charge up the power bank and a cable to charge up my phone and AirPods. Before we continue, I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Skillshare. Uh, Skillshare is an online learning platform. They have tons of different classes on there from illustration to creative writing, business and entrepreneurship, um, video, you know, all sorts of info out there for you to learn. They're always adding new classes all the time as well, and I feel like the content quality has just been improving year over year over year since I first tried them. Skillshare premium memberships start at under $10 a month with an annual membership. Um, I've currently been watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Nathaniel Drew. Um, he has a series out there about documenting your life and living more intentionally. It's been really great and uh, check out his channel too if you never have before. The first thousand people that sign up with the link in the description below will receive a free trial to a Skillshare Premium membership. So be sure to check it out if you haven't yet already. Again, a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. But that is going to wrap it up for the ultralight setup. Like I said, this is something that can be completely tailored. You know, I like the idea if I wanted to, I can bring my laptop and laptop charger, or I can bring my big camera, or if I'm going to be traveling for a couple of months, you know, I can grab a couple more pieces of clothing. This is just meant as a core baseline for the minimum needs while traveling under seven pounds, uh, super cool to be able to get this super lightweight. You know, it's taken me a lot of years to travel this light, but I can confidently say I feel pretty comfortable with this and um, am looking forward to testing it out in the near future as things are opening up. Thanks so much for watching though, and I will talk to you in the next one.